Hey everyone! Today I will walk you through building your first integration using the Monday Apps Framework. I'm Deepro and I will be your guide. The Monday Apps Framework is a toolkit for builders to create native Monday.com features such as views, widgets, automations, and integrations. The integration we build today will transform text in a source column to uppercase and add it to a target column. Now before we begin, make sure you have a Monday.com account, you have Node.js and a package manager on your computer, and that you have downloaded the starter code. By the end of this video, you will have built an integration that takes data from a source column, transforms it to all caps, and updates a target column with the resulting value. Here is what that looks like. Now let's build this together. I have three applications running. The first is a browser to configure my Monday app. The second is a text editor. And finally, I have a terminal window that is running my server. Let's get started. First, open the developers section in your account. To do that, click on the avatar and hit developers. And then let's go ahead and create a new app. In the first pane, we will give our app a name and a description. Let's call this app my first app. You can add a description if you want. In my case, I'm going to ignore it. This basic information page has some other information on it that we will return to later in this tutorial. Click on the OAuth and Permissions section. This is where you define the permission scopes of your app. We will set our app's permissions to read board data and write board data. Let's go ahead and hit Save. The Features section lets you define which features your app will use. An app can use many features to create a unified experience for the user. Let's create a new integration. To do this, let's create a feature and hit Integrations. I will name my integration text transformer because it's going to transform text. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All integrations consist of recipes. I will now configure my integration recipe by clicking on the recipes tab. Each recipe has a trigger that invokes the recipe and an action that does some action. In this case, our trigger will run when a column is updated and the action will transform the text and update a column accordingly. Let's configure the trigger. We will use a native trigger when column changes, but you can create a custom trigger as well. The trigger configuration has a few fields. The sentence is an easy to read description of the trigger. In this case, it will say when source column is updated, and what we're going to do is add column ID here. The first field in the braces is the label that the user will see, and the second field is the key passed to your integration. Now let's set the board ID based on the context of the integration, that is where the integration is set up, and let's choose the column ID based on the recipe sentence. This is going to then let the user configure which column in the sentence itself. I'm also going to only allow the text column here. Now let's add a custom action to transform the text. Let's click on choose action, and just like before, I have a bunch of native actions that I can select. We're going to use a custom action today. Let's create a new action. I'm going to call this action text transformer. And you can add a short description if you like. The run URL is the URL that a request will be sent to when the action is triggered. Since we don't have a server right now, I'm just going to add a placeholder, myserver.com. Our action will need four input fields to run. These fields will be sent to your server when the action is invoked. The first field is the board ID. The second field is the item ID. The third field is the source column ID. And the fourth field is the target column ID. Now let's create our action. Once I've created the custom action, we will configure it in the recipe configurator. My sentence will say transform text and update target column. As before, the first field in the braces is the label, and the second field is the key, based on the input fields. The board ID will get this from the context. The item ID will, will get it from the trigger output. That is, the item ID that the trigger sends to the action will be here. And we'll do the same thing for this as well. And for the target column ID, we will let the user configure this in the recipe. Just like before, I'm going to 
let them only select a text column. All right, let's create a recipe. Now we've configured our first recipe in our integration, and we're almost there when it comes to setting this up for our account. The next thing we need to do is edit our starter code and run our server. Let's start by editing the .env file in our starter code. This contains some environment variables that our server will use. These variables are secret, so I'm going to be showing you placeholders in this video. When you're actually setting this up, go ahead and copy paste the actual values into your env file. The first environment variable is the signing secret. We will get this from my app in the basic information page. The signing secret lets you verify if requests are legitimate. The second piece is the API token. This will let our app make changes to our monday.com boards. You can get an API token using OAuth authorization. In this case, I'm just going to use my personal API token. Now that we've updated our .env file, let's go ahead and set up our server. To do that, open a terminal window and navigate to the directory that the starter code is in. We're going to now run npm run start to run the starter code. And this is going to spin up a server on our local machine and use ngrok to create a tunnel from a public URL to our machine. Let's go ahead and get that public URL. To do that, go to localhost colon 4040 slash status and copy the URL. We're now going to use this as the run URL for our previous app. So let's go back to my app. Let's go to features. Let's go to text transformer. And in my actions, I'm going to set this as my run URL. I'm also going to add transformation slash transform as a suffix because this is the route that my app uses for transformation. Let's hit update action and we're good to go. Now that we've set everything up, let's open a board to test this out. This is my test board and I'm going to create a new integration on this board. You can see there are all of the integrations that monday.com natively has. And then in the top and the bottom, you'll see the text transformer that we created. Let's go ahead and click that. It's the purple one. And you'll see the recipe. When source column is updated, transform text and update target column. When you click on this recipe, we can then configure it, source column and target column, and then hit add to board. Now I have configured my recipe, added the, the integration to a board, and I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and add some more text here. We did it. And boom, that information gets sent to my server. I do the transformation and I update the column accordingly. Pat yourself on the back. You've built your first integration and you can use our starter code to create more integrations that send data from monday.com to other tools or that trigger data from other tools into monday.com. Thanks for joining and happy building.